Good morning from the cruise terminal at Port Canaveral. Obviously the Disney Cruise Terminal. Yes. We are finally here. We are clear to sail. We were negative for the COVID test. So but we is... have positive vibes. Yes. Negative positive test, vibes. positive vibes. There we go. Very excited for this. This has been a long time coming. This was our May 2020 cruise that was rescheduled and whatnot. So And now it's our honeymoon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone's already lovely. Exactly. So we oh what time is this? 12.30? 12.22. But we are we were boarding group 6 starting on number 23 so it is time to board and get some food. I'm hungry. Yes, so let's go. So after boarding and exploring the beautiful atrium, we decided to head to lunch. So instead of going to Cabanas on the top deck, we went to Animator's Palette on the second deck. And I absolutely love this restaurant. I love the theming and what they do during the specialty meals, um, which will come later in the cruise. But even the details down to the butter knife being a little paintbrush to go with the theme of the Animator's Palette. I just, I love it. It's so cute. So to kick things off, as an appetizer, I ordered the beef empanada with the red chimichurri. And Hannah ordered the seafood and chicken gumbo soup, and this was served with some cornbread. For our entree, we both decided to go with something a little bit lighter, so we both ordered the chicken Caesar salad. This was very good. And finally, for dessert, Hannah ordered the carrot cake, which was layered with a lemon cream cheese. And I decided to go with the cookies and cream cheesecake, which was layered on a chocolate graham cracker crust with some whipped cream. And after lunch, we completed our mandatory mustard drill. And this process has changed fairly recently. So in your app, it'll tell you where to report to. So ours was deck four midship. We were looking for the letter J. And then you just pull up in your app and scan the corresponding letter to match with your station. And then you're all set. And after the mustard drill, it was time to explore the ship some more. So we decided to start with the kids club. So we did the open house for the Oceaneers Lab and Oceaneers Club. So starting in the Oceaneers Lab, kids were just having a blast with the interactive elements. There were some screens on the floor to play some games. There was a craft corner. There was a little drawing section off to the side. There were places to watch movies. And yeah, it looked like tons of fun. So now we've crossed into the Oceaneers Club, where there's tons of themed little elements involved. So first up was a little Star Wars section, which looks so cool, looking like you're actually on the Millennium Falcon. Tons of little elements there, you can play some games and actually fly the Millennium Falcon. Then there was a section themed to Pixie Hollow, themed after all of Tinkerbell and her fairy friends. And I love the elements here, even having like a little Tinkerbell or a little fairy in the light. One of my favorite sections of the Ocean News Club was the Superhero Academy. So this was all kind of Marvel themed and there were tons of little props from the different Marvel movies. And this was actually where we got to meet our first character, Thor. So it was a fun little surprise. But yeah, this section of the Ocean News Club was so cool, so well themed. It looks like they have it set up to be more kind of Doctor Strange-esque uh, elements in it, but still tons of fun. And then lastly, in Andy's room, is kind of a Toy Story fan's dream. So you had a lot of life-size toys from the movies, made for some fun photo ops where you could sit inside of RC, you can pose with Mr. Potato Head, you can sit in the Slinky Dog bench, or you can pose with Rex breaking out of jail. Tons of fun. Next up, we checked out the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique on the ship, and this is where young princes or princesses can go to get a full makeover. And this was a lot larger than we expected it to be. I expected it to be like maybe two desks and they had so many more stations than that, as well as so many different dresses to choose from. So very cool to see all, all their offerings here. And one cool thing about this place is you can get some free pixie dusting. So they will actually put some glitter in your hair 
completely free is a nice like magical way to start your cruise. Okay, so our room is ready. We are room number 6570. We are midship, right by the elevators. So, very nice location. DVC stuff is prevalent. Yes, with Hannah being a DVC member, we have all these DVC magnets. We have some DVC lanyards. And then in here is where our room keys are. Right. It opens. Honey. Did you do something? Did I do something? I don't know. What did I do? Champagne and chocolates. And robes. Wow. Honey. You're very backlit. I know. Here's to a lifetime of adventure, love, Robbie. I love you. I love you too. Okay, and as for our room tour, walking in with the front door to my back, on the left-hand side we have these split bathrooms. We will circle back around to that. And on the right-hand side we have some closets. So in the first closet we have one life jacket, some hangers, a laundry bag, and a safe with plenty of storage for our suitcases. And then in the second closet, we have, once again, some more life jackets and plenty of hangers, as well as more storage for suitcases and clothes and whatnot. So, plenty of storage space. And then over here, we have a <clears throat> little kind of rack here. I guess just more storage, as well as some drawers. We have three drawers if you want to unpack. This door right here is our connecting room, which we will not be using on this trip, but nice to know that you can have two staterooms that do connect. And then turning towards the rest of the room, we have our decent sized bed with a little end table on both sides of the bed that have some plugs, no USBs, just a normal plug. I do love the details on the lampshade showing the Disney ships and the Disney castles and whatnot on the globe. Very cool. And some little Mickeys below. A nice padded headboard. And then we do have a phone on this side of the bed to call, uh, I guess, services or whatnot. They used to have wave phones, which are like kind of handheld. They don't seem to have those anymore. But they do still have a phone in the room if you want to contact anybody. Disney-wise, front desk, medical, security, whatnot. Here we have a little curtain to kind of separate the room into two. So this bed actually pulls out into a sleeper sofa, but just sleeps one. It folds down kind of that way. And then, not in our room, but some of the rooms have an additional sleeper that pulls out from the ceiling. So technically, this, this room could sleep four Ours only sleeps three. But as you can see, plenty of space here for by the couch, small little coffee table, and if you are a Castaway Club member, and what that means is basically you have sailed on one cruise before, which I have, you get a little gift. So it is a Castaway Club backpack, and you also get a special Castaway Club lanyard. And then to the right here, we have our desk. Pretty decent sized desk with the refrigerator in here. It is just a refrigerator, not a refrigerator freezer, and it is fairly small, so kind of one thing to keep in mind with that. And then by the chair, we have some complimentary Disney Cruise postcards. Looks like we have one with Mickey and Minnie and one with the ship. It's very cool as well as some notepad, and this is for ordering room service for the morning. It can be delivered right to your room. And this is just a little um, guide and with numbers for any kind of uh, emergency situations you might encounter. On this side, we have three additional drawers. So this drawer is actually where the hair dryer is. And this is a little mat you can use for if you have any curling irons or for the hairdryer. 
when it's hot so you don't put it right on the wood itself. So that's very, very fancy. And then these drawers are just kind of empty. They are pretty deep drawers. I mean, fairly deep. I would say maybe five inches, four inches, five inches deep. So that's good to note. And then in this cabinet, we have some more storage up here, as well as a very large mirror. Hello. And as you can see, I did surprise Hannah with a little bit. So I got the uh, Luxury Romance at Sea package for two, which includes two ro two Disney Cruise robes, a bottle of champagne, some chocolates, and some glasses to enjoy our champagne, as well as a nice rose to accompany everything as well. And then we are a stateroom with a veranda. So walking outside to our veranda room, we are on the starboard side. So currently in Port Canaveral, we have the port right in front of us. We are midship, so right in the middle, we have the Disney Cruise Port Terminal. And as you can see, there's two chairs and a little table. Actually a fairly decent sized balcony. I mean, pulling the chairs back to the wall, there is still plenty of space in front of the chairs. So very, la very large balcony, which I'm excited for. But yeah, just kind of have a nice view of Port Canaveral for now. And then turning back towards the bathrooms. So like I said, this is a split bathroom situation. So in this bathroom, this is where the sink and shower is, as well as a full length mirror. So as you can see in here, we have a very small sink, not a ton of storage, but there is a decent amount for the size you're working with. There is a shelf as well in here. And there is a little pump full of the body lotion, as well as some face wash, um, washcloths and a makeup specific washcloth. And then I love the shower curtain with the little Mickeys and the ropes, very nautical, as well as the liner is the same way. And in here, we do not have the pumps. We just have very large bottles of all of the um, Disney H2O products that we know and love. And we have our very small, but this is a cruise shower. So I would say it's maybe about six and a half feet tall standing outside of the tub. So something to note with that. It is going to be very cramped, but that's okay. And something else to note, there is a trash can right there as well, as well as tissues. There is a very decent sized step into the bathrooms. So be sure to step up with that or otherwise you will trip into the bathroom or out of the bathroom. So something very important to note with that. And then in this bathroom, oh, hi. oh, we have a Hannah. Welcome to my throne room. So this- I've been in the bathroom the whole time waiting to make that joke. Goodbye. Oh. So this is the second bathroom. In this we have the toilet as well as a sink and some specific hand soap, which is very nice to see since Disney actually doesn't give you liquid hand soap in the rooms. They just give you the bar soaps. So we finally got some hand soap in here. And then down below there is some tissues as well as a garbage can. And there's also plenty of shelf storage in here as well on both sides of the mirror. And then you have the toilet brush and toilet paper, an extra roll down there below next to the, next to the toilet. I know, I was like, I guess I'm still here. Ooh. So that's our room. Very quick little room tour. It is a very small room, but we don't need much more space. I don't think we're going to be in the room very much anyways. We have a, lots of activities planned, so. I mean, we just got married. We're supposed to like to, to like hang out together, so, yeah. you know. But it is still a decent sized room, so plenty of, plenty of space around. I think once we put the bags in the closets and whatnot, it'll feel a little bit bigger. So only travel with people you like. Yes, very true. Mouse I think couple tip. With four people in here, it would be very cramped. Even with three people, it would be very cramped. So, something to note. I think kids would be okay, but definitely not four adults or three adults in, in one room. But yeah, we're gonna just kinda chill for a little bit and we'll catch, you, catch up with you later. 
something else to note is with the lights in this room. So you actually have to put in a your room key into the slot to turn any of the lights on. Our little tip is to bring a gift card so you don't accidentally walk out of your, walk out of your room and forget to grab your room key. So little tip is to bring an extra kind of empty card that you can throw in there to use as your light switch. And then right above that is our thermostat. So you can adjust it just by a knob one way or the other. And here we have our decorated door with all our magnets and fish extender, added lights around the side. Yeah, very fun, very exciting. Hannah's first cruise. Yes, and I made this. Yeah. As a secret, and I all of a sudden had it, but I got all the supplies when we were supposed to cruise in 2020. Right. So. Very cute. So after getting settled into our room, we headed up to check out the Senses Spa and Fitness Center because they have a spa raffle at the beginning of every cruise. So although we did not win, it was still very cool to see all of the fitness center offerings as well as the spa offerings. So here we have the large fitness center area with some cool towels and the treadmills that overlook the ocean, which is a lovely, lovely view. They also have plenty of yoga mats to do some yoga in the morning, as well as some bikes to do some cycling classes, and some free weights. And here we have the beauty salon and barber shop. So over on this side is the beauty salon, where you can get your nails done and whatnot. And then to the right is the barber shop. And lastly is the rainforest room where you can purchase a day pass to spend your whole day or a couple hours in this area of Census Spa where they have some heated lounge chairs as well as some semi-private hot tubs that overlook the ocean. Some lovely views out there. And then inside they have several cold showers that are scented as well as some saunas. So very nice. And after checking out the spa, it was time to head up to the top deck for the sail away party. So let's go. Hello, Disney Fantasy! I'm Uriel, one of the entertainment team hosts, or as I like to say, your Disney Fantasy host.
So we found Chippendale and Mickey and Minnie in their cruise attire. So cute. Time to get some pictures. And for dinner this evening, we headed back to Animator's Palette. And this meal was themed more towards Pixar, specifically Finding Nemo, and had basically a Turtle Talk with Crush vibe. So let's enjoy. Oh, check out all the human dudes and the human tech. Hello, dudes. Hello, Crush. Okay, okay. We got some. We got some talkies over here now, dude. Let's talk to the dude with the funny ears on her noggin. Oh. Uh -oh. Hi, Crush. Hey, dude. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah, have you ever been to New Jersey? I have not been to New Jersey. Oh, you've never been to New Jersey? No. Would you ever want to go to New Jersey? You can stay with Stella over there, dude. Sure. I could swim there. You could totally swim there, dude. But then you can also stay with Stella. <laughs> Most righteous. Hey, dudes, I'm looking for people to join my awesome club. Would you all like to join, dudes? Yeah. Sure. Oh, if you'd like to join, let me hear you say cha. Cha. Awesome dudes, well all you have to do is raise your right fins, raise them up dudes, and repeat after me. I, I, state your name, state your name. <laughs> I think we have some clownfish in here dudes. <laughs> Promise to be awesome. Promise to be awesome. All the time. All the time. And, and whenever anyone says awesome, whenever anyone says awesome, I will shout, I will shout, dude, dude. Okay, put your fins down now, dude. Here we go. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. You dudes are totally awesome, dude. As for dinner, we started with some bread service, so tonight was garlic and herb focaccia with a roasted garlic dip. As for our appetizers, both myself and Hannah got the black truffle pasta per sets, which were very, very good. I also ordered the smoked salmon tartare that had some horseradish cream. And finally, Hannah ordered the tomato tart, which had some glazed goat cheese and radish on top. And for our entrees, Hannah ordered the lemon thyme chicken breast, and this had some mashed potatoes and some root vegetables. And I ordered the ginger teriyaki dusted Angus beef tenderloin, which was served with some wasabi mashed potatoes and some vegetables as well. For dessert, Hannah ordered the lemon icebox pie, which was served with some lemon curd and berry cream. And I ordered the chocolate fudge cheesecake, which is a vanilla cheesecake with a chocolate fudge base. Both are very good. 
So we have some Fisher Sender gifts. We'll have to look at those in just a second. But first, let's check out our towel animal. Oh, how fitting for the evening. It's a little sea turtle wearing my sunglasses. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I'm glad they could borrow them. And he also like organized the whole desk area because we, we kind of left that a disaster. He did, yes. How sweet. Very fancy. And we have some Disney Dove Sweet Dreams chocolate. It's not focusing. There we go. Sweet Dreams with the Disney Cruise. How cute. And for our fish extender gifts that we found waiting for us coming back to the room, we have some little keychains that somebody made for us for Minnie and Mickey. We have some candles in like a little clamshell. Those are really cool. I don't know what scent it is. It's a jasmine. Oh, a jasmine scent. We have a little cruise duck. Very stylish. And then we have the key to happiness is love with a little Mickey bottle opener key. And then lastly, we have a little ornament with some shark teeth and shells and sand. Very cool. So that will do it for day one on the Disney Fantasy. Very fun-filled day. Not a ton going on, but it seems like we've been busy the whole time since we boarded. I've been fairly nauseous. Yeah. So I think that has slowed us down a bit. That's okay, though. It, it is pretty rough out there today. The winds were pretty strong, so hoping that tomorrow would be a little bit calmer than it's supposed to be. I think most of the winds were just off the coast of Florida, so tomorrow's our day at sea. Headed over to Cozumel as our next stop. Um, I don't think we ever said this is a Western Caribbean cruise, so seven nights on the Fantasy, stopping at Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Falmouth, Jamaica, as well as Castaway Key. So, this was just day one, embarkation day, and yeah, started off with some lovely lunch at Amber's Palette, mm -hmm. went to the Sail Away Park, well, went to the Spa Raffle. We did. We did not win, though. Did not win. That's okay. Went to the Sail Away Party, which was very fun, very cute. And then, yeah, just kind of came back to the room, unpacked pretty much everything, and went to dinner. So, thoughts on dinner? Dinner was good. I was nervous because, like I said, my stomach was a bit upset. But what I had was good. The entree I had was just fine. Yeah. But with my stomach being upset, having chicken and mashed potatoes was pretty much like the best thing that I could do for myself so I still was cool with it. The appetizers were very good. I had the tomato tart and then the black truffle pasta per sets, and they were very good. And I liked my dessert too. I had the lemon icebox pie mm. but it basically tasted like a lemon cheesecake. So I liked that. Yeah. I'm also wearing C-bands now. So, maybe that'll help. Yes. Yeah, I thought dinner was very good. I agree, though, that the even my entree, I got, I got the uh, beef tenderloin. It was okay. Um, a bit on the, like, chewier side for my liking, but that's okay. It was still very good flavor-wise. I do think that the appetizers kind of stole the show here. Mm -hmm. And desserts, but desserts, it's hard to really mess up desserts. So, um, but I tried the salmon tartare and the pasta presets both excellent mm -hmm. so yeah lunch was good too mm -hmm. i had the seafood and chicken gumbo but there were only like three pieces of protein in there <laughs> but it was still very good it was spicy and flavorful and then we both had the chicken caesar salad which was very good and it was good yeah so overall thoughts on the cruise itself I feel like I'm gonna get lost all over the place. It is much bigger than you think it is. Yeah, everyone is super nice. Yes. Everybody is super duper nice. I haven't seen any like angry screaming parents threatening to take away privileges if a kid doesn't do this, that, or the other. Or a grandkid doesn't do this, that, or the other. Everybody seems to be in a good mood. So that's fun. Yeah. And Oh, 
at dinner we were seated with two women even though there were two couples at the tables behind us and next to us who were sitting alone yeah. so we were chilling with some new friends for our first dinner of our honeymoon and then by the end of the meal or part way through they were saying we'll separate you for tomorrow <laughs> so we'll see if we still have friends tomorrow we'll let you know yeah indeed but that will do it for us tonight it's about 10 30 now so it's time for bed we've got a long day and busy day tomorrow we have Paolo brunch in the morning i'm super excited for that so yeah looking forward to that so that is our first day at sea tomorrow and formal night and formal night for dinner and It'll aladdin be, aladdin so we'll be very fancy tomorrow yeah so looking forward to that it's a lot of characters today we'll continue to, to do that throughout the cruise as well but that will do it for this video day one so thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time see you real soon